Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're back with episode 3 of reviewing my free models from when I was a kid. And, um, I, I think that we actually get to one of the highlights, um, from this point on. Like, I think from this point on we're getting to more of the highlights, because before it was all just low-tier trash. But now we're actually getting some interesting stuff. Um, the, the, the newer we get in items, the better, in my opinion, they actually are. Um, but let's start with the Frozen Angel and the Frozen Angel 2. Uh, the Frozen Angel is the Empyrean Rainment, which I increased the blue in to make it look like, obviously, it was frozen. And the Frozen Angel 2 is the Empyrean Rainment 2, but I raised it again to look frozen. Um, both times the Halo ended up looking green. But other than that, I think, um, the Frozen Angel 2 looks the best out of these two, because when you look at it, this one looks a lot more frozen. Uh, so I definitely think that this is just much better. Um, at least in my opinion, but moving on to the zebra leopard fedora now These two the fiery fedora fedora testing and the zebra leopard fedora I don't remember if I covered in the last episode or not. Um, it actually depends um, Because I recorded that one multiple times, but I'm gonna cover them again anyway So uh, just skip ahead like 20 seconds because I'm gonna give a short explanation on this um, This one I raised the blue on it to make it look a little bit more snowy I did a horrible job of it because you can see it's literally just leopard fedora with a little bit of blue on the edges. Um, and this one is just a fiery egg uh, texture on a fedora. Um, in my opinion, I think this fedora actually doesn't look as bad as uh, I initially thought it does. Because when you think about it, um, if it was like a red band and then for some reason on the top it was red as well, that would look pretty sick. But, uh, you know, the execution's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I think that this one is definitely the better um, hat there. But moving on to items that I think you guys actually care about. Uh, last episode, we covered dual dark heart swords. It's reappearing in this episode only because I forgot to mention one thing, and that is that this item actually ended up becoming a real limited. And um, even though they didn't use my, you know, dual dark heart swords, so therefore I didn't get it, I think that it still counts that I kind of had the idea. Because, I, I mean, 2012, and they came out in, like, 2013 or 2014. So, in, in a way, I kind of came up with the dual dark... Okay, no, I did not come up with them. Because I'm pretty sure somebody else probably thought of it as well. But, I, I still think it's pretty crazy to see that I created something that eventually ended up being... some Like, someone else created something similar. Or at least conceptually the same, but, you know, similar. Whatever, you get my point. Same thing happened here with Purple Ice Crown, which I called Perps the Crown. Um... Last updated in December 2012, let us do out job. It was supposed to be let us do our job. I don't know why that's even the description, honestly. Um, I think this one actually looks kind of nice. Um, this is one of the only old retextures that you're going to see there that I think actually can hold up to this day and still be considered, you know, something that looks nice. Because, I, I don't know, even though this isn't, like, at all the texture that ended up being used in the purple ice crown, I think... Uh, since it's literally just the Ice Crown in purple, I think you could say that it does still look nice, because everybody likes Ice Crown. I mean, who who doesn't like Ice Crown? Okay, a lot of people don't like Ice Crown, but that's whatever. <laughs> anyway, so we're moving on now to the Ice Steel Fedora. Now, ever since I was younger, I had an obsession with, uh, Blue Steel Fedora. Um... I'm pretty sure in my earlier videos, you could see uh, I, I was reluctant to ever trade my Blue Steel Fedora um, after I got it. But anyway, <laughs> basically, uh, you could see I kind of had um, an obsession with Blue Steel Fedora. Even here, um, I raised the blue a lot. You could see nothing really complex. But I think it actually looks kind of nice. I don't know why, but there's something about it. Like, when you raise the blue that much, it just looks kind of nice. Um, uh, but... Something I think I should note right now is that my my screen is actually a lot more saturated than you guys will see in the video because I have custom settings on. So I don't know if this looks horrible or not on your screens, but on my screen, it actually looks kind of nice. Um, of course, maybe if, if it's like desaturated and not as saturated as it is on my screen, probably a, a lot worse because I can see it being like a plain deep blue being, you know, bad. Uh, moving on though to Dominus Summus. Now, I don't know what Summus means, so I'm actually going to go Google Translate that, so I'll be right back, guys. Give me a second. Okay, so it turns out that it has over 46 meanings, according to Google, um, including High, Chief, Highest, Top, Supreme, Premier, Darn. Darn? <laughs> that has nothing to do... Like, all of these 
Like literally everything here. Um, you see Premier the Greatest, Premier uh, again, Supreme, Top Highest, Chief High, Darn. So I, I feel like it's probably like I put um, uh, Supreme or, you know, the Greatest Dominus or something like that because I did like Messer. Um, so obviously, you know, I, I considered it to be great. Um, for anyone who's curious, all I did was remove the, or lower the red and raise the blue. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. Somehow it actually looks kind of cool, I just don't like the blue. I think that if, overall, it was just darker, like, the actual messer was darker, I think it would look even cooler. But I don't know, I think that one actually doesn't look as bad. Now, we're moving on to some very weird ones that I don't want to talk about, like the Cyan Moon. Uh, the description is super cringe. Maybe you will see the Nyan Cat on the way out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what I was doing here. Um, yeah, as you can see, all of these are basically just super basic texture color changes where I just raise a color and then it becomes, you know, that color pretty much. Or dominantly that color. So you can see I raised... You, you get the point at this point. I don't think I have to explain how every single one happened. But this one just looks pretty weird. Like, imagine just a pink Santa coming at you. Like... Uh, here, here's your presents. I'm Pink Santa. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's very cash money. Um, moving on, however, to these three Builders Club hats. Now, this one, uh, I believe this one, um, hold on. I don't know what this one actually came from. That one's actually interesting. Uh, I don't know what Builders Club has little thing here. Uh, I only have the Builders Club hard hat on this account. I probably need to buy all the other Builders Club eventually just to get them. But, uh, basically, you can see I just really liked, um, B Builders Club. So, I presented Supreme Builders Club and Elite Builders Club, uh, and two new Builders Club hats. I believe this one was Supreme and this one was Elite. Interestingly enough, the red one became Supreme and, uh, you know, six years later we have a Supreme clothing brand that... You know, their brand is red boxes saying Supreme. So, I, I feel like I predicted that as well. So, I'm giving myself another bonus point there. But, Elite Builders Club, I feel like I should have called it Atomic Builders Club. And then I ruined the... I, I feel like Atomic would have done much better here for some reason. Like, I think green and black just screams Atomic over Elite. If anything, this one is just... Like, it says we can freeze you to outstanding performances. I think this one should have been like Frozen Builders Club Hard Hat or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I was really weird and dumb. Moving on, I covered this in the other video, actually, so I, I guess I could just mention again. This one was literally a script that made the dual dark hearts function. Now, moving on to the interesting one out of all of them, the ghost of Jane Doe. Now, if you guys don't know, there was a whole John Doe thing going on in 2017 or 20... I think it was 2017 where everybody was freaking out over John Doe. They're like, he's gonna hack Roblox and stuff like that. And it's interesting to see that all I did was make a pretty a transparent Jane Doe model, which by the way, has the same outfit as John Doe, or at least back then they did. Um, and as you could see, I, I feel like I really, really predicted way ahead of the curve here. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like the ghost of Jane Doe um, it's just really interesting how, I, I don't even know why I made this one. All I know is that it's just so weird. Like, why would I make a, a, a just a transparent Jane Doe and call it a ghost? I feel like I was the one who was trying to start up the, uh, you know, spooky, scary Roblox is being hacked stuff back then. <laughs> and I spelled eternity wrong, so, whoops. Uh, moving on though to Dragon Bow, Dragon Seer, and Dragon Eye, um, and I guess Dominus Draco. I could cover all of those at once. Dragon Bow, Overseer Bow, changed colors because I thought that was cool. Um, I was re I was really into dragons for some reason. As you can see, most of these were actually published on the same day. A lot of them were on December twenty second, twenty twelve. I don't know what I was. I think I spent all day in studio that day, just building stuff and uh, just publishing that. I wonder, what day of the week was it? I'm not sure if this will come out, um, you know, in the video. I might have to move, like, the little screen, because I like to zoom in when I do these videos. That way you guys could actually see what's going on. But, um, I'm actually going to scroll all the way to December 2012, 
So yeah, it was a Saturday. So I just woke up in the mood to create cool stuff, I guess. <laughs> so I, sp I, I think most of the stuff in this video are actually all from December 22nd. But um, clearly I was telling people to check out the Dragon Seer of Death. Um, for more info on all the dragon stuff I would be creating. So let's go switch over to that um, Which is literally the masked hood of lightning striker. I believe all I did was You know ra race I, I told you I'm not gonna explain this anymore because it's obvious what I do <laughs> I think you could still just get it put it into studio and see what I did anyway But uh, you can see info on dragon season one. They are boss and I'm talking elite speak boss not even just normal boss and two, Dragon Season lasts from December 22nd, 2012 to January 4th, 2013. Um, yeah, I, I guess that works. Um, moving on though to the Dragon Eye, uh, sadly there's no preview here. Um, neither in, uh, the little thing here where, you know, you search your models. Nor does it show you in the actual thing here, because usually it zo uh, zooms out a little bit more here. Um, but I guess not, so we'll never know what the Dragon Eye was. And, uh, Dominus Draco. Uh, I took someone else's, you know, Dominus texture, retexture, and all I did was change the colors. But Draco, I know, translates to dragon in Latin. But I want to know what this means from Latin. So I'll be right back once more. I'm just going to go check that out. All right, so as you can see, um, some words obviously don't have the exact translation once you put it in and then put it right back out. Because um, I believe Google Translate just puts a literal translation um, and then for some reason they just keep changing or something, but uh, if I had to interpret what I typed because when I was 10 I know for a fact I didn't know what Yahweh was, but uh, I know it was probably God will take them away from their problems or something really simple of a sentence like that. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but let's keep going here uh, because I think this actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think this purple is actually better than the purple Rex has in my opinion, but uh, moving on to the last couple items here uh, I don't want to make this episode as long or too long rather so let's move on to the sword of the lucky Irishman uh, It's linked sword in green uh, Honestly, I don't know why I thought of this because venom shank literally exists and I think that that's gonna be more green than I could have done with this um, And they are so lucky <laughs> What a simple description uh, moving on, Turbo Samurai, uh, this was actually a new mesh, um, the Samurai thing, I think, I don't know, actually, but it, uh, I feel like it was probably new for me to be making this, and uh, I was interested in Turbo Builders Club at the time. You see, I was always kind of a hipster, so I was like, you know, I kind of like Turbo Builders Club, even though nobody likes it, I kind of like it. Um, so I wanted to make something that would, you know, of course be like, Okay, so if you buy Outrageous Builders Club, you get special stuff. So I was thinking, hey, Turbo Builders, Club, Turbo Builders Club should have that. So that's exactly what I was trying to do here. So, yeah, it, it resulted in a kind of interesting samurai thing. I think the one, I think this actually looks kind of cool. Um, I think the colors kind of match up, like brown and orange. I feel like they just kind of go together like this. So I'm not even going to hate on myself for this one, because I think this one actually doesn't look half bad. Moving on, though, to Notice Goggles. Again, night vision, go night vision goggles fans, uh, a fan. Uh, I don't know. I'm stuttering so much, but you could see I was just a huge fan of it, and I made yellow ones here. Um, they are so noticed that they are named after parent notice. I don't know who that is anymore. I actually have to look that up. Hold on, I'll be right back. So after googling his name, because as you can see, searching his name up had zero results. Um, he doesn't have a wiki page, so he wasn't a famous developer or anything. But uh, it turns out he's actually, you know, obviously banned. Um, and someone actually commented, you're a noob, I'm glad you're banned. So, it looks like, uh, Parent Notice, whoever he was, was probably a friend of mine back then, for some reason. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I don't know why I closed out that tab, here you go. But, yeah, I, I don't know about that one. But moving on to the last item, the Crown of Stained Wood. Uh, I believe this was Wanwood Crown, yeah, this was Wanwood Crown. Uh, made kind of pink, and... It looks kind of dumb. The description's kind of dumb. I don't really like it. Horrible item to end off the episode, but that's where we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I'm going to, again, keep this as short as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Just let me know if you guys want this to be a shorter or longer series where I, you know, make it shorter episodes or longer episodes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.